welcome, and to freely and of your own will. Which is a terrible hint to today's update for Smallland. It is Halloween season, and we're going to get into the spooky spirit and talk about one of our biomes, Nightmore, and one of our more interesting spooky characters, the witch. Nightmore is an overgrown swampland. Uh, it's a dumping ground now left to ruin. It's overrun by spiders who hide and wait for unsuspecting travellers. The spiders are not a wandering creature and instead stick to their nests, which are usually signified by webbing. They will attack anything that crosses their path, including their own brethren. The venomous spiders of Nightmore do not back down. They show no fear and no mercy. And while they dominate the biome, they are not alone. They fight bigger creatures more deadly than themselves. If they see another spider, they see it as a threat and they will fiercely do anything to protect their homes. Another one of small and spooky inhabitants is the witch. She's a very traditional fairy witch taking bits of lore from all around the world and different cultures. She's wise and she's old. We don't know how old, but it is very old. And she starts off nice and trusting and then reveals her more sinister nature. She is the only NPC in the game to not care about the small folk. She has always been alone, not against anyone, but just alone, and looking out for herself, which is unique to the small folk culture. She will be generous and then toy with you, messing with your emotions. She's either mad or she's bored or a little bit of both. She will provide tonics and elixirs using old ancient remedies that you can then learn, and these will be key to your survival in the more difficult areas of the game. She also helped create the Wiccan armor. Now, at this stage when you get this armor, you will begin to bond with her, but this is a bizarre and possibly very toxic relationship. Well, that's all for now. Stay safe, have a very happy Halloween. Catch you later.